so it wouldn't have been possible without uh, support from speed team uh, uh, all the videos were so great and whenever i had any issue in the speed uh, support team was always there and uh, i i thoroughly enjoyed the harrison series sir, from speed so i bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of the entire faculty team on team of speed medical institute to dr shri hari anil for scoring a topmost rank of aml rank number 1 and dm infectious disease as a super speciality and in ess october 2024 session congratulations to you doctor thanks a lot sir so it's great uh, to have an interaction with you following your success yeah. Thank you, sir. It wouldn't have been possible without uh, support from Speed Team. Uh, uh, all the videos were so great, and whenever I had any issue, in the Speed uh, support team was always there. And uh, I I thoroughly enjoyed the Harrison series, sir, from Speed because uh, I I felt in infectious disease. Uh, you know, Harrison is a bit vast. I think the widest part in Harrison is infectious disease because you have to go through bacteriology, virology. uh mycology and then parasitology so going through harrison was very easy especially with harrison based videos from speed great doctor now can we know a detailed background history from where you started till date what have you done i would like to before i start i would like to uh, thank my parents uh without them uh, this achievement would not have been possible i uh, did my ug from uh, molana azad medical college delhi Uh, subsequently i did my pg from aims raipur and currently i am doing sr ship in jipmer uh, again without uh, support of my uh, friends back in ug in um, mmc then my uh, colleagues my co pgs interns and uh, seniors in aims raipur especially my uh, uh, friend ashok uh, my co pg in uh, uh, surgery and uh, coming back uh, the currently i am working in jipmer so such a great batch of juniors who are were uh, uh, working by themselves in micu and 50 unit jipmer without them uh, i i would not have time to read for the exam so entire success goes to whoever supported me at different points of time without that this would not have been possible fantastic great and the gratitude makes a man always successful thank you <laughs> now can you know tell us the preparation strategy once you decided why you decided to do an infectious disease in india uh sir i was clear that i want to remain in general medicine so i i would be fine without even specializing like uh, i i am so in love with the uh, branch which is the father of all specializations internal medicine however uh, i felt that infectious disease is closely related to general medicine infections will uh, involve every system it can involve uh, the nervous system can involve the cardiovascular system in form of infective endocarditis and not only from internal medicine patients will even come from orthopedics uh, there will be surgical site infections so i felt there will be a wide array of uh, you know cases which will come to me as an infectious disease physician and not only that the newer uh, more interesting infections that is transplant infections and the immunocompromised host so that is a completely new uh, uh, arena where uh, you know it is it will be difficult to tackle these cases as a general physician so i thought infectious disease degree would add to my general practice definitely very good doctor now what was your preparation strategy once you decided to do an infectious disease in dm what all you did to achieve what you are today uh it was initially uh, difficult to have a road map in infectious disease because considering how vast the syllabus is uh, you know first there is microbiology and there is clinical infectious diseases and microbiology by itself is so vast with the techniques as well as different microbes so to get an idea i had interacted with uh, uh, the consultants in apollo id dr uh, ram gopal sir and dr ram subramaniam sir so they had given me uh, you know a thinking process how to uh, approach infectious diseases so you know first it's about the clinical syndromes so uh, we i first uh, started with the clinical syndromes like pneumonia meningitis meningoencephalitis so these we these clinical syndromes are also given so well and so much extensively in this speed up as well you know it dis- uh, it discusses the standard book mendel at length of these clinical syndromes so once i did with these clinical syndromes then i went to the microbes because the second part after uh, making a, uh, after localizing it into the organ and as a clinical syndrome then our you know next role will be to identify the micro because without identifying whether it uh, which microbe it is there is no point treating the infection so then i went into 
each of these micro uh, you know bacteriology virology it was very easy because i was already done with the clin uh, clinical syndromes like if um, if i am reading influenza i know i know how to fit in influenza from the pneumonia clinical syndrome so because i started with the clinical syndromes it was easy to read up this uh, then one side uh, was done with one the clinical syndromes and second the microbes then i went to the miscellaneous topics so miscellaneous topics in infectious disease include no uh, antimicrobial stewardship then you have to uh, read the pharmacology part the uh, each of the antibiotics will be we need to know how, how to you know uh, monitor the therapeutic levels uh, you know all this pharmacology knowledge is also needed so that's what the uh, after clinical syndromes and after reading about microbes then we have to cover the miscellaneous topics like transplant antimicrobial stewardship so one more thing i would like to emphasize is uh, you know we have to revise from what we read in our undergraduate syllabus pharmacology antibiotics the antibiotics from pharmacology and uh, you know my, microbiology the entire microbiology has to be revised otherwise we won't be able to integrate and answer questions smoothly very good doctor great briefly you said all that is required for preparation and how many questions did you attend doctor next sir um as far as i can remember uh, i uh, attended all questions except some four five i left four five questions i was sure i don't have any idea about those questions i left those four five questions apart from that you know or the, those questions in which i could uh, exclude two options but i was left with two more options i did attempt those and actually fortunately those uh, questions uh, you know the net marks turned out positive for me <laughs> very good how many what are the proportionate questions of id in 80 and what are the profession question of general medicine in it uh general medicine i uh, i could uh, considering uh, you know exam at that time it was a bit tense i could not count the questions sir but i think 10 12 questions would have come from general medicine uh, actually the thing is uh, when i discuss with my colleagues who are giving oncology many questions which came from general medicine were actually from infectious disease so i benefited either way <laughs> very good so general medicine did you prepare or how how did you handle it uh general medicine i did not prepare separately sir general medicine actually i have made notes while i was preparing for my final year exam in pg uh, system wise notes i keep going through these notes whenever i have a specialty very good doctor now what will be your advice for the future aspirants of uh, dm infectious disease uh, you know uh, the only uh, the main advice i would like to give them is uh, infectious disease exam especially for those who are giving from the general medicine background infectious disease exam will uh, microbiology will be tested in and out in depths uh, micro the microscopy will be asked different species will be asked uh, you know the uh, even the uh, culture techniques may be asked culture techniques was not asked at the, this time but at least the microscopy many images had come so now the microscopy is not so complicated as in you just have to brush up the syllabus that you had read in second year once you are done with that after you brush up microbiology that you read up in second year then you will be very comfortable so i would say uh, whenever we are reading uh, each of these microbes you have to re read both microbiology part as well as the clinical part from harrison you cannot do one and ignore the other only uh, once we integrate both we will we be comfortable with the paper because the it, the questions will definitely be a mixed bag because uh, the both microbiology professors as well as uh, it, you know general medicine professors will be contributing to the questions yes so that's the reason why we have given a microbiology pure microbiology in the app yes sir uh, yes sir. of those pg exit standard yes, so sir. that students can go back and and um, refer Uh, so that initially we thought only a pure infectious disease and superficiality we should give then this thought process of what you said exactly the basics of microbiology is required one of the topper in previous year said sir kindly add that folder also along the infectious disease then uh, it made lot of sense and then now we could then now we, you are also able to tell us this is what it is then the future aspirants could also not ignore the basics yes. of micro great doctor yes. now time to thank and whom all you want to thank uh, they have contributed to your success from day one till date again uh, without mentioning my parents uh, you know uh, not, no achievement till now would have been possible uh, you know starting from uh, completing ug surviving pg uh, everything was due to them who were you know standing behind me like a pillar 
uh and then uh, i would like to uh, thank my friends uh, starting from uh, you know the, in my under graduation days till uh, post graduation my colleagues co pgs interns uh, and my senior senior residents uh, and then um, i would like to thank all my juniors in uh, jipmer along with uh, the micu consultants and the unit 5 consultants in jipmer great doctor wonderful once again we wish you all the best and all the success for a great career and wonderful career uh, in dm infectious diseases superficiality best wish. thank you so much thank you